Peggy 16. Hello there and welcome to the 2014 Call of Duty Championship brought to you by Xbox. I'm Jessica Chobot and I'm here in Los Angeles, California, joined by the greatest Call of Duty teams in the world. They have battled their way here for a chance to partake in the $1 million tournament where the winner will go home with $400,000 and the coveted title of Call of Duty Champion. Now before we get started, let's check in with Shoutcaster and my good friend Alex Mendez. You know him as Golden Boy to see how things are going to kick off. Thanks, Jessica. Obviously, this tournament is absolutely insane. Now, the way that the format works, you have 32 teams competing in various groups. In those groups, two teams will advance. So you have eight groups, two teams advance to a bracket play tomorrow, where they will be participating in a randomized 16-team double elimination bracket. And of course, there can only be one Call of Duty World Champion. Now, some teams that you want to look out for, specifically Optic Gaming. They're one of the more favorite teams going into this event. Complexity regarded to be one of the best teams in the world. Strictly Business, Team Caliber, and then you have the Australian Triton T1 Daughters. I'm really looking forward to seeing what these guys could do here. It's going to be an absolutely insane event. And of course, you're not going to want to miss it. Hey everybody, with me is Jonathan Murnane, the Director of Experiential Marketing over at Activision and the man that pulls the strings here at the Call of Duty Championships. Now tell me, how do you put on something like this? Uh, it's mostly caffeine and magic. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously, we have a lot of people working really hard on this behind the scenes, both with Activision, with our partners at Xbox, from our agency partners. There's just hundreds of people putting all the pieces together to really make this come together. Now you have people literally from all over the world. So what kind of logistics does that take? How do you get everybody into one place at one time? It's pretty crazy. We've got teams that are, you know, three blocks down the road and we've got teams that are all the way in Africa and it's a lot of crazy logistical management to get them here in such a short notice, but uh, we got them all here and we're, we're ready to go. Now Activision and Xbox have partnered up for events like this over the course of so many years. How has your relationship developed over the course of time? We've got a lot of institutional knowledge that we've built up year over year, so every year gets a little bit easier because we learn from the year before. So we can shorthand different things and then every year we get to bring a little new stuff to the table, so we're pretty excited by that. I have managed to snag Sundance Di Giovanni, founder of the MLG. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. So how does an event like tonight's event impact esports and what's at stake for the players here tonight in LA? Well, there's a million dollars at stake, uh, but more importantly, this is the first time we're playing a major esports event on the Xbox One. It's been pretty tremendous already. So in your opinion, how does the Xbox One and next-gen gaming affect the future of esports? Well, we've got far more powerful consoles to work with. That means the experiences we're going to create are going to be just richer. And the fact that eSports is now a part of the conversation around what the DNA for this console will be, it's just a more immersive experience and it's just far more powerful than anything we've ever had in the console space. So this is just the beginning, really, of what you're going to see. So you have an app that's coming yeah. out for the Xbox 360. Can you tell me a little bit about that? We just launched our MLG TV viewing app this week. You can watch this event on it. And the goal is to be able to provide amazing content like this live in a social experience experience again on the console on the TV so you can jump out of a game watch some of this event and then jump back into the game so you followed over the course of years a lot of these teams that rotate in the Call of Duty circuit in your opinion who do you think is going to walk away with the grand prize you have to watch complexity they've got to be favorites based on their recent performance SB and TK uh, have a shot and optics a fan favorite I mean what it comes down to is no matter who wins it's going to be a great weekend of eSports uh, Call of Duty is going to be on a major stage globally and uh, the fans are going to have a great time. And it is almost a wrap on day one of the Call of Duty Championship, but don't worry, we still have plenty of action coming your way tomorrow as the advancing teams get that much closer to getting their hands on the $1 million prize pod in the first worldwide eSports competition on the Xbox One. Make sure and tune into the finals live on Xbox on March 30th. You absolutely do not want to miss it.